I'm Alex. I'm Florida Chapter ISA Certified Arborist, membership FL6316A. Today we're trying to preserve this beautiful historic live oak. It's known as the Ames Oak. The story is before the neighborhood was developed, Boy Scouts would come into this field and they would camp under this live oak, which is a pretty cool story. The tree has some issues though. We're trying to preserve and maintain this tree. You can see uh, in several spots, the cambium layer has died back, exposing the heartwood, which could in turn set decay into some more vulnerable trees. Typically live oaks resist decay pretty well, so this tree has a pretty good outlook on the future. But we're trying to slow down things like that decay by ensuring that leaves aren't continually getting piled up around the base. That creates a, a very moist environment and can actually cause decay onto the base of the tree. It also uh, harbors things like carpenter ants and different fungi that could potentially be bad for a tree like this. Now you'll notice not much uh, vegetation is growing around the base of this tree, um, except for these ferns. These are very prolific invasive species of fern that are basically air plants and don't require much nutrition whatsoever. Um, they grow right beside of a tree, no problem. And uh, we're getting rid of all that because it will eventually take over this whole area. And we don't want to harbor something like that. Now uh, we're just doing some deadwooding and lightening the tree up, taking any excessive dead that could potentially add weight and, and uh, increase the potential of a failure in this tree. Um, the tree's not as old as it probably looks. You usually tell the age of a tree by the diameter of the stems, and this is probably six or seven trees that all grew from acorns right at the base. And uh, so a diameter stem like that is probably maybe 60 years old, 70, depending on the environmental conditions that it was grown in. Uh, we're just basically gonna do an inspection of the whole tree and get this soil, which is actually just organic leaf material that over time is broken down and turned into this almost peat-like material, which uh, a question that many people ask is, is this good to put around my plants? Uh, probably not, because the leaves, as they break down, they release a chemical known as an alleliopathy, and alleliopathy inhibits the growth of plants. So the tree is killing any of its competition with that chemical known as an alleliopathy. So would I recommend planting other plants in this medium right here? Probably not. And as this material has broken down and become really fine, you'll notice it's actually really dry. It's created like a mat. And that mat is actually pretty much impermeable for water to get through. So we're breaking the mat up, which will allow water to get down into the soil and not pool in areas like this on the trunk, as well as not run off immediately. Um, so if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time right here on the Best Garden DIY.